What's up, guys? I'm Dinebot, and welcome back to Distant Worlds. Right now, we are in HR 6164 at the planet known as, well, the point of interest known as The View. This system is really interesting. It's got a neutron star, a couple black holes, and this very interesting planet right here. This is planet ABC1. And this is kind of a dangerous landing, guys. So if you go here, be careful. This is a 3.3G planet. It's very easy to splat a ship on a world like this. But as you can see here, the view, actually extremely worth it. This is just simply incredible. You've got that ring of the bright purple color of the planet, and then you can see the neutron star and the regular star out there in the distance. Also, be careful driving your SRV on this planet. They, uh, they will go splat as well, but once you get down here, the view is absolutely worth it. Next up on our little trip here is Cycladia. And this is a really interesting Earth-like that's got a really neat set of rings. If you do go here, go check out the inner rings. They are orbiting so fast that it's actually visible to the naked eye. It's pretty crazy looking, but I love Earth-likes. They look really cool in this game. And this one with its uh, multiple rings here is a really interesting, really scenic, and really nice place to visit. Just take a look at that right there. You can just fly right along the rings. And like I said, if you get close enough to the inner rings, you can actually see them rotating. It's one of the more interesting things that I've seen as I've been playing the game. It's, it's a pretty spectacular sight to behold. Now, this has all been a lot of traveling, about 1,200 light years for the first hops, and then 1,500 on the second set headed out towards uh, Thor's Eye, which will be up in our next video. But I have been taking the time to scan, full scan, every system that I've passed through. So I'm going to have a lot of exploration data on board this ship. But with the new FSS system, I'm finding it pretty easy, and I've had some help from my Discord. With multi career. Speaking of, if you want help with Elite, hey, hop in our Discord. Everybody's friendly, and we've got a lot of knowledge about the game, but I'll advertise more at the end of this video. You don't want to hear it now. Uh, one of the things I'm finding the most fun about this Distance World is just how relaxing it is to explore and see all these new sites. And guys, there are cruise ship tour guide roles avail that people have taken up uh, in Distant World 2 and Fleetcom, and you can probably multi-career into their ship and just see some really cool stuff and not have to make the insane voyage yourself because I know not everybody has the time or the uh, money invested in their ships that they could do something like this, let alone the real world time that this is actually going to take. But it's been a very interesting journey so far. And our last little spot for the day is Labyrintho. And if you guys are a fan of flying fighters through canyons and crazy deep canyon worlds, Come visit this place, even if you're not going on Distance Worlds 2. It is, as you can see, absolutely stunning. The craters, canyons are absolutely insane. And there are just these crazy, huge, majestic green mountains that are just kind of sticking up here. It's a very interesting place. It's gorgeous and really not that hard to get to. It's a low-G world. It's pretty easy to fly around on. And Like I say, you can hop into a fighter and uh, you can go have some real fun in those canyons. Just uh, make sure you don't hit anything like I uh, very nearly do coming up right here. External camera can be a dangerous thing when you're flying pretty close to a canyon floor, but still, damn, it was worth it. It was fun, and I'd go back and do it again, and I probably will do it again on other canyon worlds that we find in the expedition, but that is for a later time. For right now, looking ahead, we are going to be heading out next to... Thor's Eye, the Lagoon Nebula, and the Cinnabar Moth Nebula. So there should be some really, really gorgeous views coming up. I will leave a link to the forum post that details the itinerary for the expedition down in the description below, guys, if you want to keep up with it. So far, all of the waypoints, or points of interest, I should say, have been very interesting. We won't find out our next waypoint for a few more days, but I'm pretty much fine with that because there's still so much to see and do along the way. I've still got, I think, another thousand light years or so to go to catch up with the rest of the main fleet. And I'm going to be stopping off to check out whatever I can along the way. Let me know about your uh, journey so far. What interesting things have you seen? Feel free to put pictures and links in the comments down below. That's going to do it for me, guys. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, hey, like, subscribe, hop into Discord and chat with us. My name is Dinebot. I'll see you guys next time.